Hello everyone and welcome back to the fifth episode of our Cricket 22 career mode and today we're going to be taking on Takapuna at Takapuna Cricket Club in a 50 over game so I think without further ado let us get straight into it all right here we are at the Takapuna Cricket Club we've got a playground in the background there they're in orange we are in red and today it's actually quite a flat wicket I think we've kind of transitioned into the period in summer where it's quite flat in New Zealand so with that cone calls heads but it's a tails so we've lost the toss and probably will be bowling first because it's an absolute belter and exactly that okay Rahane is in their side all right well he's gonna try and get bulk runs let's see how we go all right we did not get a trundle yet again but we are out here to bat averaging 88.67 let's get into the scorecard and they scored bulk runs batting first Akamu Rahane continuing his great form 84 of 97 I think we'll be seeing him in the Auckland side at some point Akia Kamai Jones who got 108 not out of 121 to guide Takapuna to 270 for three Rahul again was brilliant Amory Cohn the captain is gone for 14 of 16 and we're now batting with Mahana Ani chasing 271 flicked away into the mid wicket gap straight away we're in some good touch at the moment. That will be two to start, so we're going to take that for sure. Oh, driven on top of the bounce. Pass it on for four, and we're underway. 5.42, in fact, is the required run rate. Flicked away behind square. There's no one there, and it will go towards the playground for four. Pulled. Oh, nearly. And normally the... Plan is to work them for singles, but again, a bit of an interesting field. Means we could take advantage. Yes, to slide. 50 up, 4 weary. After 9.1 overs, they've actually given us an easy single down the ground, which is exactly what we want as a batter. Arnie moves to 33 of 42. He's doing a very good job at the moment. So it's just about sticking with them in this partnership, keeping it going. Arnie moves to 48 now. Good stuff from him. Oh, get back, get back, get back. Yep. Yes, Arnie, yes, Arnie. That will be four. Arnie's going to bring it up with overthrows. Okay, there you go. Mahana Arnie, 52 or 56. Good stuff from him. Brings up his third career, 50. Gone. And unfortunately, Arnie has gone up for 55. Caught behind it, looks like, off 61 balls. Brings up another 50, but he can't convert. Lilo Kali to the crease. He didn't bowl very well. He's not very confident as a result. So he's going to have to... That well today to make up for it. Yep. Oh, that's a great dab. Very fine. It's going to be a couple. Two for 97 after 18. Yep, yep. another bunt. Oi. Oi. He teleported. So we're actually going to come back for two. Oh, I cannot believe that. He's actually given us an extra run by teleporting. Cut him away through this area. Yep. Oh, glanced away in the gap. It'll be a couple at least. It could be four. Oh, it's a good flick back. And it'll just be the two. Good work in the deep there. Moved to 30 or 34. A bit of a slow start, but we've actually kicked on now. He who vaggy. Oh my goodness me. Average is 169. Only one wicket in his whole career. That's all you need to know. He has one wicket. Let's not be the second. Ooh. Oh, I've missed it. I've missed it. How have I missed that? Oh, I'm given. Oh my goodness me. I'm. Would you believe it? I'm Vaggy's second wicket ever, and oh, just completely tried to go straight down the ground, but for some reason I missed it, to be honest. I think I was just late on it. Gone for 33 or 44. Yeah, not very happy with that dismissal. Nigelamia Tiga Morea to the crease. Can we get the job done? Oh my goodness. Yes, the answer is. Would you believe it? Nigel Amir Tiga brings it home. 72 not out of 72. Shepherds the tail in the lower order. Together to make 273 with 30 runs for the last wicket to bring it home. My goodness me. What a player. Nigel Amir Tiga. Get around him. Vaggy does it only get one wicket, and it is us. So, very disappointing there. Cowper takes four, and we do get across the line by one wicket again. We're shepherding the tail. Myself and Nigel and Mia Tiga, we've played some very good knocks 
in this season so far. And, well, he played one today to get us home. What an innings that was. Jeez, that was so good. Once again, big stat raises for our player here. We are going to versus Auckland, which, I mean, is the comp we're supposed to be playing under. So don't really know how that works out. We are still in the top rounds with 299 and an average of 74. I wonder how far down Nigelomia Tiger is. He can't be too far behind. Oh my goodness me. Look at the results around the ground. We have a win by one wicket. Takapuna win by one run. My goodness me. Rahane again, the player of the match. Let's see what happens if someone runs in and bowls some spin. It's me versus me. Okay, so it looks like my twin brother is trying to teach me how to do some spin. Okay, interesting stuff. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Yeah, well, yeah, got myself out. That's a good start. I'm just going to work on trying to get my sweep going. There you go. Okay, we got a bit of a stat increase from that little net. And apparently we got better bowling. Okay, so I guess by us facing ourselves, we got better bowling. Okay, that is interesting. That is for sure. We're in the three-day kit ready to go. And it should be an interesting three-day match against Auckland. Let's get into it. All right, here we are for the three-day match against Auckland at Auckland Cricket Club. Okay, I don't think we've versed this lineup before, so it should be interesting to see how we go. It has actually put Rahul as a bowler. That is good to know. Now, that's interesting. What was that guy's name? Leo Leo. I've never seen him in the team before ever. It looks like we've had a change to the team lineup in the middle of the season, which I absolutely love to see from the AI. And it looks like we are going to be down for the toss. Heads is the call by Cone, and the toss has gone missing. So it's apparently a tails, though. The, the coin has indeed gone missing, but they have elected to bat first on an absolute belter. This should be interesting. Let me know your thoughts on doing a fielding career mode only, guys, where I have to field the entire time and do all the batting and bowling and stuff. That could be interesting. That is going to be four buys. Uh, five wides, even. Oh, that's not a great start. After five matches, we've got 299 runs at an average of 74.75. All right, let's take a look at what's going on. So... Oh, you've done it. I reckon they've either replaced Nigelo Miatiga because they don't like him, or he's been called up. I don't know which. Nigelo Miatiga, our favorite player in the lineup, is not. He is replaced by a player who also has a great name, Leo Leo. Get around that name, Leo Leo. What did he do in the first game? Oh, first innings? He got none for 24 and five overs. We're batting with our good mate Arnie again, and we've got an offside field. Looks like it's just going to be... Outside off, and gee, that bounces over the stump straight away. Alex Lee, who looks like he's bowling like Stuart Broad. Okay. A 338 run deficit is quite a big one. So we've got a lot of work to do in this three day match again. And a lot of bounce in this wicket as well. Arnie goes bang and knocks it for six. Look at the pavilion over there behind Kari. Good stuff to see there. Gone. Respect is not given. Lee knocks over Arnie for 15. Lilo Kali to the crease on four. And Raka got a promotion as well. I'm not sure why on earth that has happened. I've not seen Raka score a run. Yet, Callister Tau, one of our MVPs, got dropped down. Unbelievable stuff. Hold away. Great stop, though. Yes, finally. On the pads, on the full, whipped away four. All right, Lee, he's the danger man. Boy, we actually ducked it. We haven't done a single duck the entire career mode, I don't think. Lee is must have his tail up for sure. Oh, he's copped us too. Dean Francis. Gee, because that goes over middle stump. Gone. Another wicket down. Kali. Kali gone for six. Fahari with the catch. Lee with his third wicket. Has three for 18. Now Raka to the crease. I don't think he's made a 50. Pulled away. It's a good length. Whack. Through mid wicket. What a shot that is. Have some of that. I think I'm finally starting to understand that the weary side is just not quite known for our batting. Being the leading run scorer and all. In our first club season. And being 3 for 39, I think is just further testament to that summary. A Kiwaka Vahari into the attack. Bangs it in and whacked away off the back foot for four. He's gone for seven off his first three balls. So we've actually survived the spell of Lee's. And again, too short. And pulled away for four more. 50 up for worry now. It's always the way, isn't it? You get rid of your strike bowler, you bring another bowler in, and all of a sudden the pressure just gets released. 
Oh gosh, it sails over again, that bounce. 12 of 24, Raka is doing well with the start he's been given, but he needs to kick on. We've just got to harness the bounce. B1 with the pitch. 294, the deficit. Woohoo! I think this one is going to be a draw, if I'm honest. Don't see any other way it is going to be a result. We're definitely not going to win. We can't win this three-day game. Alex Lee, he returns. Got that evil look in his eyes that says more wickets. How many overs did they use? They used 95 overs and we've used 18. So yeah, we're basically, this is going to be a draw. But we, we don't want to lose on first innings. But it looks like we can't really have it any other way unless we get 292 runs. This is not my wicket at all. These sort of standard wickets are not my wickets. I love to drive off the front foot. 